This is John Forrest, 16 time Funny Car Champion, and I'm here with American Hot Rod Entertainment. And if you want to be entertained, this is the show, and Darren is the guy to do it. Thank you. I get that name right? Yeah, I was good. Thank you. Yeah. In 1997, John Forrest would elevate himself to auto racing immortality when he would capture an unprecedented seventh NHRA Funny Car World Championship, tying himself with the likes of other motorsports legends like the King Richard Petty and the Intimidator Dale Earnhardt. To commemorate his seven Funny Car Championships at NHRA's biggest and most prestigious race, the U.S. Nationals in 1998, John and team would unveil a new beautiful gold paint scheme dubbed the Seven Time Champ Car, with the sponsor at the time Castro DCX and the word Seven Time Champ in a big gold number seven plastered on the hood of the race car. This car would obviously be a huge hit with the fans, with all merchandise pertaining to the car being sold out in almost an instant. However, John Force was not new to repping specialty paint schemes. At the 1996 World Finals in Pomona, Force would debut his beautiful black and white six-time champ car with the yellow and red flames running down the nose of the car, commemorating his six funny car world championships. The following year in 97, Force would sport a special driver of the year paint scheme at the US Nationals, celebrating him becoming the first drag racer ever to win the prestigious driver of the year award for his performance in 1996, where he won 13 out of 19 races that year and 16 final round appearances. And last but not least, Earlier in 1998, the King of Funny Car would debut the super popular Elvis paint scheme, which was a tribute to the King of Rock and Roll, the great Elvis Presley. But despite his domination throughout the 90s, having won seven of the last eight Funny Car championships and accumulating a total of 62 national event wins over those eight seasons, the 1998 season was surprisingly a quiet one for John Force, having only won one race heading into the U.S. Nationals, which was the 16th race of a 22 race season. The one race he did win, however, which came in English Town, New Jersey, he won in pure dominating fashion setting a new national speed record not once, but twice. That would be faster than the kings of the sport, the top field dragsters. First on Friday night, under the lights, at 323.35 miles per hour. Then again in the final round on Sunday, this time at a faster 323.89 mile per hour to score the victory and actually extend his points lead in the process. But it wouldn't be long before Forrest would eventually relinquish the top spot to rising funny car superstar, Ron Caps who was still the points lead away from Forrest heading into the U.S. Nationals on the heels of two consecutive victories in Seattle and Brainerd. Caps, who was just in the second full season behind the wheel of a Nitro Funny Car, was already having a career year in 1998. Driving for the legend Donna State Perdome, Caps would rack up a total of four wins and six final round appearances up to that point that season, including two final round victories over Forrest in Dallas and Seattle. Marking the first time throughout the 90s, John Forrest did not hold the points lead going into the U.S. Nationals. Locked in a tight points battle with the young Ron Caps, John Forrest needed to make a move and make a move fast if he wanted to go for championship number eight in 98. Well, at the will of his new beautiful gold race car at the Big Go, John Forrest, crew chiefs Austin Coyle and Bernie Federley, and the rest of the Castro GTX4 Mustang Nitro Funny Car team would head into final eliminations on Monday morning on a mission. Qualified in the number seven position, Forrest would take on Freddie Neely in the opening round and get the win. Smoking the tires from half track on, Force would leg it to the finish line to secure the victory, setting up a big time matchup in round number two between himself and you guessed it, Ron Caps. Caps, who just less than 24 hours earlier picked up the $100,000 for winning the super popular Big Bud shootout, would come into a second round conversation against John Forrest as the favorite. Not only was he the higher qualified between the two, but he would also have lane choice. Holding a slim 35 point lead over John Forrest in the championship points chase, Caps was looking to move it to 55 points with a win right here. However, with his back firmly against the wall, John Forrest would step up and rise to the occasion as he left on Caps on the starting line and held on for the wire-to-wire -wire victory, laying down his best run of the weekend at 496 and stopping the points leader in his tracks. The old hound dog just took a big bite out of the points leader at 496. You left on him, everything's good. Oh, well, it's about time. It's nice to put Sentech and Castrol and Ford. It's the on Mac cool all-pro bumper. Bumper, I don't, get to, I don't get to talk about him much. You got this old Coke car back here, Cash, just wailing on us, running numbers now, this other kid, but uh, I'm real proud to race this kid, and he's got a shot at the title. That ain't no bull, Caps. I love you, man. In the semifinals, John Forrest will come up clutch once again, as he would just barely hold off Dale Worsham at the top end to score the round win, running a 504 to Worsham slightly slower 505 to advance to his fifth career final round at Indy. And oh yeah, he would take over the points lead from Ron Caps as well. In the final round, Forrest would now be just one win light away from capturing U.S. Nationals glory once again, as he looked to claim his third crown at NHRA's most prestigious race in just the last six years. But his opponent in the final round, Randy Anderson, would definitely have something to say about that. 
Anderson, who was at the will of the Parts America Havilland Pontiac Firebird, with his dad Brad Anderson serving as a crew chief, was looking to capture his first U.S. Nationals crown in Nitro Funny Car and take down Forrest in the final round for the third time of his career. However, John Forrest will show why he's the greatest of all time. John Force at the stripe. Randy Anderson had him covered, and John Force runs 4.99, 3.06 to get the win. Let's go to the starting line. For the third time in his illustrious career, John Force was the U.S. National Champion. As Anderson would get the advantage over Force on the starting line, but John Force would drive around him at the top end to score the win. Picking up his second win of the season and taking a slim 25 point lead over Ron Caps, heading into the next race in Maple Grove. Oh, it's a golden moment down here. John only had one victory this year, and that's not much for him. But winning Indy, that's like winning another half a dozen of them. Golden moment for just an old man. I tell you what, all my sponsors, Bestion and Matt Tool, this gold car with Castro, this action car. I ain't ever won a race with a special car, and his gold car was really special. A, a seven title. Don't know if I ever get another one with that Caps kid, but, man, I'm excited. All pro bumper to bumper. The fans have stood by me, I'll tell you. It was like they just kept saying, you ain't too old, and you ain't worried up and go after that young kid. And, and I kept doing it and doing it. And, Coyle found house power. Horse the house power. He ain't found something. <laughs> Good luck. He's got a shot at the point chase now. Back in the lead. Although Caps will pick up a huge win late in the season in Topeka, Kansas, after coming off back-to-back first-round losses in Reading and Memphis following the U.S. Nationals, John Forrest, still behind the wheel of a seven-time champ goal car, will respond once again. Defeating Caps in the semifinals at the third last race of the season in Dallas, with the championship hanging in the balance, then going on to win the race, picking up his third and final win of the season, and putting a stranglehold on the Funny Car Points lead before finally clinching his eighth Funny Car World Championship at the season finale in Pomona. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more great NHRA content.